Hi everybody, welcome once again to a Low One Health Year End Review, where I go over the things I've been doing besides the year besides gaming. Uh, this particular video is going to cover the TV content I watched in 2012. Uh, now, as most of you know, I don't really watch a lot of uh, like American TV or broadcast TV. Um, you know, despite how many people you know reference or refer me the uh, Big Bang Theory, I will not watch it. I do not like Laugh Track or very kind of that type of sitcom-y structure to a degree. Um, but uh, I usually watch the usual, uh, like 30 Rock, I always watch South Park, Family Guy. Um, there's not that Robot Chicken, there's not that many actual like uh, shows that I watch, uh, you know, daily or weekly. Uh, but what I'm going to go over real quick is the basically the four shows I kind of got into this year. Half of them are BBC and half of them are, of course, animated, in which case none of them are American live action, actually. Anywho, the first one I want to talk about is going to be, of course, My Little Pony. Um... That we had the end of the second season this year, which I really enjoyed, and then we've had the beginning of the third season, which I haven't enjoyed that much. I've not been a big fan of the third season. Uh, they've done some musical numbers I haven't been really happy with, but once again, it's not that they're bad. It's just not as good as previous seasons, and you know that's going to happen with any series. I mean, look at The Office. It was great after the second series and kind of went downhill. Um, of course, it's two different things, but I'm still enjoying My Little Pony. The fandom is still great. It's still fun to watch, and it's actually a show like that me and my girlfriend both liked, and we both found out we both liked, and it was actually just a, a thing that kind of bonded us together. Um, and she actually did a really cool uh, fan mock-up uh, drawing of uh, basically Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy here in their jousting wear, which isn't really safe for work. But it's a really good series. I'm still enjoying it. If you have kids, they should probably definitely watch it. Um, and if you have a mobile app, get the My Little Pony game. It's relatively fun. The next game I'm going to talk about, uh, not game, the next show I'm going to talk about is going to be The Legend of Korra. This is, of course, the second series to our uh, Avatar Last Airbender um, season, which was like, you know, three or four seasons a while back, and they actually decided to bring it back. And this uh, this basically takes place 60 years after the last one, so it's kind of cool to see what's happened to the world that they shaped. Um, the only thing I don't really like about The Legend of Korra is very condensed. It all takes place, like, really in a city. Um, but the cool thing is, because bending is now less uh, entering an industrial age, it's really cool to see how they basically adapt their bending to um, just machinery and just fact of way life living and whatnot. Um, and it's very interesting, just a lot of political stuff here, and especially in this uh, this first season about you know benders being you know overbearing and powerful and you know oppressing non-benders and how they're fortunate and whatnot. It's really it's a really good show, and uh, like I said, the only reason I didn't like it as much as the other one. Um, seasons uh, of the first Avatar was because it's not a walk the earth. I really like walking the earth, going to different villages and doing that type of stuff. This was more condensed. Um, it's kind of a love triangle, but it's actually definitely more mature when you think about the tones involved in it. It is very high level stuff and I just really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see the, the second season Legend of Korra. Hopefully they'll do a little bit more expanding on the world and get us out of the city. Next show I'm going to talk about is going to be Blackpool. Whoa! <laughs> Um, this is, of course, Blackpool. This is a BBC show, basically a straightforward six-episode kind of soap opera um, show. But the cool thing about it is they use a lot of contemporary music. So it's kind of like a, a, a soap opera musical is how I like to quantify it. Um, it's really cool. Of course, I got into it because of all the David Tennant videos and David Tennant memes, but I've actually watched the whole series, and I found it quite to be quite enjoyable. You know, it's actually, I think, a, a decent part of BBC uh, television that most uh, people should watch. And it's just... It's really cool to see how they adapted the, the music to it, because it's really good music, and just all the characters sing along to it. It's a good series. If you like David Tennant or you like BBC stuff, I definitely recommend watching it. Next show I'm going to talk about is going to be Sherlock. This is, of course, a BBC series, yet again, basically taking a new uh, modern take on Sherlock and Watson, which is really cool to see what they do with it. Um, the basic archetypes are there, and they basically expanded on it to bring it into our realm in our day and age. And it's really cool. I really didn't think I was going to enjoy it that much. Kind of like Merlin. Almost kind of the same vibe of Merlin because it has a homoerotic vibe in between the two characters. But uh, I really enjoyed it more because it's just smart and entertaining. And uh, just really enjoyed it. The Sherlock character and Watson character have awesome chemistry. Um, I know they're bringing like an American... They make an American version of this. Is it already airing? I don't know. But I'm not even going to attempt to watch it. Just like the thick of it. I'm not even going to bother with it. Um, but I really enjoyed Sherlock. I can't wait for the third season, which is probably going to be another year until we see it. But it gives my friends more than enough time to catch up on the two seasons. It should be on the Netflixes and whatnot. I don't know. Most of you guys know how to get it. But it's definitely worth it. Um, there are long episodes because they're kind of oiv ish so you definitely have to have time to sit down. You definitely want to be able to pause it while you watch it to kind of isolate stuff. But uh, that's really it. Those are the, the, the four kind of shows I really got into this year besides my usual plethora of stuff that I watch. But uh, as always, I like to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time.